Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland uh, and this video, another video in our series uh, dealing with the theory of interest uh, is going to concentrate on the mortgage sinking fund and annuity formula that we developed or that we derived in a previous video and more importantly what we're going to do is we're going to do a mortgage calculation example. Okay, uh, But I suppose before we can do that calculation I probably need to give you a little bit of information about the scenario. Uh, so let's say the scenario is something like this, so our scenario. Okay. So the scenario is, let's say, uh, you have recently, okay, so you have recently approached, recently approached your bank manager to inquire about taking out a mortgage, right? So you have recently approached, approached your bank manager, your bank manager, okay, uh, to inquire, to inquire about a mortgage, okay, so a mortgage, okay. And the bank manager's asked you a number of questions like how much do you do you plan on borrowing? Uh, over what period of years would you like the repayments to uh, to be made over? Uh, and things like that. So let's say for argument's sake uh, you need you need to borrow let's say for argument's sake you need to borrow four hundred and twenty five thousand euros, okay, for, for, for a house, okay? Uh, and you want to take it out over over a period Okay, over a period of 30 years, okay, let's say for argument's sake. And let's just assume that prevailing uh, prevailing interest rates interest rates okay, uh, are estimated uh, are estimated uh, to average to average, let's say for argument's sake, three percent. Okay? And the question that you want to answer is what will your annual what will your annual repayment repayment okay what will your annual repayment be on the mortgage okay so there's a very straightforward question you know what you want to borrow in this case you want to borrow 425,000 euros you know for how long you want to take it out over in this case you want to take it out over 30 years and you know the prevailing or the average interest rate that's going to be assumed over this particular period of time obviously this is a little bit unrealistic that the interest rate will remain fixed at 3% but I suppose you could get a mortgage uh, with a fixed interest rate uh, over a certain period of time uh, but more than likely the interest rate will fluctuate for, but for this example we're going to assume a fixed interest rate of 3% and what we want to know is what will your annual repayments be on the mortgage? Well, first of all, let's have a look at our mortgage sinking fund annuity formula that we derived in our previous example. And um, what it says is that the, the balance in the bank account at any moment in time, okay, N being the moment in time, uh, is equal to A0, okay, that's how much you initially have in your account or how much you initially borrow, times 1 plus I raised to the power of N, okay, where I is the interest rate, N once again is the number of years that you're taking the, the mortgage out for in this case, uh, plus F, where F is the is your annual repayment, F times 1 plus I raised to the power of N, uh, raised to the power of N, uh, minus F, okay, uh, all over, all over I, okay. So in the mortgage scenario, okay, in the mortgage scenario, let's have a look at what we need, okay. So in our mortgage scenario, okay. There's a number of, uh, I suppose, parameters that are required for this formula to solve it. Uh, AN, okay, AN is the future, okay, balance, okay, uh, of the mortgage, of the mortgage, let's say, account, okay. Now, if you think about it, in the future, you want your mortgage to be paid down after 30 years. So the outstanding amount in the future should be equal to zero. So in this case, we're going to have AN is equal to zero. Uh, A0, okay, is going to be how much, how much you borrow, how much you borrow today, okay? The zero indicating today. And in our case here, because we're going to borrow, okay, because we're borrowing, so if we borrow, it's going to be negative, okay? So it's going to be a negative amount. So if I actually borrow uh, 450,000 euros, A0 is going to be minus 450,000 euros to indicate that we owe that amount. I is the interest rate, okay? In the, is the interest rate, okay? In this case, the interest rate is 3%. Uh, N is the duration of the mortgage, the duration 
okay in this case in years okay which is going to be uh, it's going to be 30 years and F is your annual your annual repayment okay uh, into this particular mortgage account okay so now we can actually do our do do this particular calculation knowing what everything is the piece of information that we're missing is F we don't know what the annual repayment should be and that's what we want to try to find out okay so let's just fill in all of our information okay uh, so what we'll do once again here is let's just write down our, our parameters that we're that we that we need to that we need to understand uh, in this case here we need to understand a n it's going to be a value a zero is going to be a value. Uh, I, the interest rate, is going to be a value. N is going to be a value. And F is going to be a value. So AN is the future balance of the account. Well, after 30 years, we should have paid down the mortgage. So actually, AN should be equal to 30. A zero is what we want to borrow. In this case, we want to borrow 425,000 euros. So A zero, because we're borrowing, is minus 425,000. The interest rate is 3%, so in this case I is going to be equal to 0 0.03. N is the duration of the mortgage, in this case N is going to be equal to 30 for 30 years. And F is what we want to calculate, is what is your annual repayment? So we don't know what F is, so we need to calculate F. Okay. So once again, let's put down our, put down our formula. It's AN is equal to A0 times 1 plus I raised to the power of N plus f times 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus f divided by i. And all we're going to do is the basic algebra, basic arithmetic, we're going to substitute in what we know and see what's left over. So a n should be 0, so we're going to have 0 is equal to a 0, which is minus 425,000 euros. So minus 425 times 1 plus the interest rate, which is 0 0.03, raised to the power of n, which is 30 for 30 years, plus f, we don't know f, so it's still f, times 1 plus i, which is 0 0.03, raised to the power of n, which is 30, minus f, we still don't know f, divided by i, in this case it's 0 0.03, okay. Uh, so let's actually work out some of these terms. Let's actually do this particular this particular calculation here. So one plus zero point zero three. Actually, let me just do the do do the, the this the basic arithmetic. So this becomes zero is equal to minus four hundred twenty five thousand times well one plus zero point zero three is one point zero three, which needs to be raised to the power of thirty. Okay, plus f times one point zero three raised to the power of thirty minus f which needs to be divided by 0 0.03, okay? Let's do this factor here, this 1.03 raised to the power of 30, because it occurs twice, okay? So this becomes a zero is equal to minus 425,000 euros, okay? Times, well, what's 1.03 raised to the power of 30? Let's try that. 1.03 raised to the power of 30 is a value that's 2.427. So this is round to two decimal places. So this is approximately 2.43. Okay. Now this rounding here is going to have a big knock-on effect in relation to this. Okay. It will have a, a, an effect and will be noticeable. But let's just for this exercise round to two decimal places. Okay. Plus, well, it's f times 1.03 raised to the 30. We've already calculated that to be calculated that to be 2.43. So let's think about it. That's f times 2.43, which is the same as 2.43. F, and then we need to take away an F, and we need to divide by 0 0.03. Okay. Now let's do. Well, let's. We want to solve for F. Okay. So we could bring this particular value over to the left hand side. We could multiply it out. Maybe let's multiply it out. Okay. So it'll actually give us an understanding of actually how much we need to pay back. So it's 425,000 euros multiplied by 2.43, which gives us a value of minus 1 million and 32,750 euros. That's the cost of borrowing 425,000 euros over 30 years at an interest rate of 3%, okay? And then it's plus, well, it's 2.43F minus F. Hmm, what's this? Well, let's think about it. If this was 2F minus F, I'd be left with an F. But what I have is 2.43F minus F leaves me with 1.43F divided by 0 0.03. And you can actually see now we've got basic algebra here, okay? This becomes, let's just take this term here. It's 1.43 F over 0 0.03 must be equal to, we bring this over this side of the line, it becomes positive 
I've kept this here, bringing her across, this becomes positive of 1032750. Okay. Now, we could do the division here, okay, which would be 1.43, 1.43 divided by 0 0.03 gives us a value of, that goes about 47.66 times, which is about 47.67. So what we know is, therefore, we have 47.67, that's this division here, okay, F has to be equal to 1.032750. In other words, F is equal to 1032750 divided by 47.67. So let's do that. So we have 1032750 divided by 47.67, which gives us 21,664 euros and 57 cent. This is how much you need to pay back annually. And here's the answer, okay? So this is the annual repayment, okay? Now, you might be tempted to divide that by 12 to give you the monthly repayment, okay? But we can't actually do that, okay? The reason why is because we haven't applied interest, okay, based off a monthly application, okay? But from a naive perspective, if we divided this, okay, let's say we have 21,664.57. If we divided it by 12, what we end up with is about 1,805. So circa about 1805 will be your monthly repayment okay if you borrow 425000 euros and if interest rates are fixed at 3% and the mortgage is taken out over over 20 years okay so guys hopefully now this actually demystified uh, what's actually going on with this particular formula here okay or this formula here okay which is the formula that we derived in one of our previous videos okay so this formula here is so so important for us okay allows us to do many things and in this particular example what we did was we did a mortgage calculation okay so guys, once again, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope that this video was in some way intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that it was helpful. Okay, so thank you for watching.